Okay, I wanted to show you what I did here. My little guy scribbled on this. Oh, but see, the nice thing about us born books is that they plan on little kids scribbling, I think, because all their pages are so nice and, and their stuff is so well made. So you saw me just literally wipe off the cre the marker on um this cover. This is not a book. It has several books inside of it, but it's a set. And it's such a good price. It's, it's $20. I know you're saying, oh my gosh, that's not a good price. No, it is a great price. Let me show you the quality of these books. So I have in here the three of the four. The other one I will find later. But um, it shows you the, the, the fashions for the seasons. So I'm, mi I'm missing the summer. My Oh, my daughter was coloring one of the, the dresses. Because after you... Put on the, the dresses, then you're able to color them any, any way you want to. Which is so awesome because usually with stickers, they, you don't get that option. Well, I um, saw on Pinterest someone had made little um, stick figures. And it, that link is going to be included in the workshop for empathy. But I decided to make my own. And I'm going to make a video on how I'm how I drew the face, you know, step by step, so you can do your own like that. This is a little girl that I just painted, and she is friends with this other little girl who looks very different from her. In fact, this other little girl has a sticker dress from the fashion designer collection. And I I first had put on, let me see, they're really good stickers and you can restick them. I love that. But I first done her, made her a uh, dress, made her a purple dress. And then I said, you know, I bet this would work too. And sure enough, it did. And look at that. Isn't that precious? I mean, I love that I can use these stickers and I just tuck it in. And now she's friends and she has a new dress and she's going to a party tonight. And her other friend says, oh, I love your dress. I don't have a dress like that. I wish I did. And she says, oh, but I really like your red dress. And it's okay. Um, when, after this party, maybe, because I really want to wear my new dress to this party, but maybe later I can share with you and you can borrow my dress and, and I will share it. But I like your, your red dress. It's very pretty. Come with me. Let's go have fun at the party. We're going to have a blast together. You know? And so that would be one scenario that I would do with my little girl to um, be friends with. Another scenario would be was would be like putting her in a different situation. Because that situation was a perfect situation where you see empathy. And my other situation, I would say, I don't like your dress. And she would say, oh, you hurt my feelings. And then I would say to the little girl, you, you cannot be mean like that. You cannot hurt people's feelings. You need to go on and come over here and let's talk about it. And so I would take the little girl and I would say, now listen, it's okay to like different, have differences, but it's not okay to hurt another person's feelings. If you don't like something that they have, then don't say anything. Only say nice things. And then she would say, but I really like her dress and I'm mad that I don't have one. And then I could say, oh, I see. Maybe you should tell her that you like her dress and you wished you had one instead of treating it like you don't like it. And see, that's a scenario that kids need to learn how to balance their feelings and to know how to um, say what they mean without hurting another person. And that would be a scenario that I would use to teach my um, child about expressing themselves, you know, and, and to say the truth and to be kind and mindful of other people's feelings. So um, I love these books. They're worth their weight in gold because... There's so many clothes that you can pick and choose that you could never use them all just on the stickers, just on the, the figures. You would have extra. 
And so they make it like that so that you can put them back and change the outfits because they're restickable. But I like the fact that I can use the stickers on my stick people because it gives my girls a fashion thing. And then when I store everything, I could easily store it all in this nice little box and have it like a little dollhouse almost. You know, there, there goes my people. So um, this is really something that I love and I just wanted to remind you that sometimes things in Usborne go out of stock and they, they go out of it quickly and um, some things don't come back into stock for a very long time if ever because I, I bought some things at a used store that was Usborne that I've never been able to see and I can't tell you how valuable they are to me I love all the products that they have. And this is neat because it also has um, the the dressing app for the iPad. So you can go there and find out more. And I think that um, it's good to give our children tools to be creative with. And we dress ourselves every day. And it's nice to have an app and have these little toys that little girls can feel creative in what they wear. So if you like this video, please like it and thumbs up it and subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more um, videos on teaching emotions to children. I love the Usborne products. They're more than just the book. They are an experience and you can make lasting memories with them. And the nice thing is, is that they last so that when you have bought them for your children, you can hang on to them and be so gifted to be able to grab your grandchild one day and hug them and say, you know, your mommy or your daddy used to love this book. Um, I can't say enough about the quality. I haven't found it anywhere else. I'm sure you could do this with whatever you did have on hand, but, um, I don't just want to sell people the books. I want to show you what they're capable of doing because this is not just something that, um, you just toss aside when your child gets older. This is a heirloom to me and a keepsake and a treasure. So some of my friends have said that they're expensive to me, they're worth their weight in gold. They're just quality and they're not expensive. When I look at the other books that I've found in bookstores, they are comparable prices. I love books. So I know about um, things that I treasure in them. And it's very hard to find um, a sporn books in a used store. I was very fortunate. I think it was a grandmother that put it in this one little used store that belongs to a church. I've never found them in Goodwill or anything. So if you have, grab them, snatch them up. They're collectibles. They're such a treasure. Okay, well, take care. And if you have a question or comment, leave it down below. Thanks. Bye.